Hi guys, it's Holly. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new. Today I'm going to be continuing my playthrough of Summer in Mara. I think this is episode three. Uh, if you haven't seen the previous episodes, I would really, really, really recommend that you go and check them out just because it then gives a lot of background. So one thing that we did last time is we went up to the, I believe it's a lighthouse. Oh, I can run, can't I? I keep forgetting that I can run. <laughs> I'm like a slowpoke walking everywhere. Um, we went up to the lighthouse and we're just basically trying to uncover some details about where we are. So the quest that we've got at the minute is speak with the in inhabit in inhabitants, inhabitants, that is right of Qualis or Callis. I don't really know how to pronounce these names honestly and figure out a way to make Saimi open the door. So I think we're just going to walk around. We've got loads of these like shady characters. We need to find a different job. I hate unloading trucks. Okay, fair enough. No worries. So I don't really know who I'm looking for in particular. I'm just going to ask around. <laughs> I love this shirt, it's so cool. These are like Pokemon, like NPCs, when you walk past and they're like, hey, were you looking at my shirt? It's cooler than yours. Like stupid stuff like that. <laughs> uh, also, another thing that you guys were asking for was, oh, well, oh, oh, oh. Another thing that you guys were asking for was longer Mara episodes. Uh, if I, so at the minute, they're usually about 25 minutes or 25 to 30 minutes long. That takes about five hours to render. So I have to be really, really conscious of rendering time. I am considering possibly, oh, what am I going to do without a job? Oh, that blank stare though. I'm thinking of maybe, oh no, I need to go to bed. So I think I'm going to, so what I do at the minute is I film my Mara videos on a Sunday and I just make sure I have them up by like four o'clock basically, uh, GMT. Oh look, I'm dead. <laughs> um, but I think possibly what I'm going to be doing is filming them on a Saturday, letting them render overnight and then seeing how we get on with that. I look divine in this light. I have to say, I'm not 100% on the art style. Uh, I, I've said that before on this game. It's not my favourite. I really like how colourful it is, though. Can you help me? Oh, yeah, this is the rude, the rude guy. Oh, yeah, picking up the trash. Let's go see. Okay. I need to sleep. I can't... I literally cannot afford to stay in that like hotel it's so expensive let me run <laughs> come on nope i'm dead again well i'm gonna have to run to the hotel so yeah i think i'm just gonna um film it on a saturday what is that dog doing over there oh it was like walking and not doing anything i'm gonna film on a saturday and let it render overnight and i can try and make the episodes a little bit longer Oh, I need to get my energy back. If I could just get to this hotel, that would be perfect. No, I can't remember where the hotel is. Is it not like here? Oh, it's here. It's literally right here. No, I almost made it. Come on. I have to be able to walk places at least. Otherwise, it's not fair. Okay, it's just here. I don't think I have the money though. Oh, maybe I do. Okay, well, I think that's all the money that I had. So that's great. <laughs> uh, where is my room key? Okay. Right. Uh, okay, let's try some orange juice. Wait, this is just my catalogue. <gasps> no. Also, you guys might remember, and I don't know if I told you this, but with uh, the first episode, we encountered like a really, really weird glitch, but they did actually get back to me and say they had now fixed it. So that's all good. So now I'm just running about talking to people. So that's how you open a bank account. These people are saying the strangest things. Oh. <gasps> There's a crab.
Oh. Oh, cute. I've got a lollipop. That'll do. The crab mail service carries messages from all over the world, some written in languages that nobody from Mara knows. Oh, okay. I never know what he's talking about, but he's so handsome. Oh, do I need to speak to this person? Oh, wow. Is this Shrek? That kind of looks like Shrek. Oh, okay. I think we might be getting something. This is Bram. I'm going to call them Shrek. It's just brr. I think I messed up. My uncle is opening his establishment soon and we need supplies. So I ordered some corn at the market. They only brought me corn seeds. It's a disaster. Oh, let me guess. Let me guess. I'm now going to have to plant them and then wait. Okay. That's fine though. I can deal with that. You're welcome, Burr. Okay. Brr. Oh, there's another male crab. Wait, can I touch this one as well? Oh, wait, no, it's the same one. Okay, never mind. I was like, what? They're popping up all over the place. Okay, so now I need to go back to my home. And I actually need to make some meals or like some food or something. Because she's just going to keep like literally dying of starvation. So... That's not what we're trying to achieve. Which means I get to go in the boat again, which is super duper fun. Let's get in here. Take me home. Oh, I literally... This is one of my favourite things about the game so far. I really love the fact that you can actually, like, steer the boat. And actually, you can sleep in the boat, which is cool. Did I know that? I'm not sure. I didn't do a, an episode last week. I just didn't feel like playing it. And I didn't want to like force myself to play it. <laughs> so. But I am enjoying it so far. It is a little bit weird doing one video a week. Because it's like to play a game. You kind of need to like spend a few hours playing it. But. Uh, wait what? Wait what? Oh I need to go this way. But yeah look how fun this is. I can just like swirl around i'm really glad they decided to do this instead of like just a really quick like cutscene. scene Ta -da, i'm home basically like crash the boat that's okay okay so now we are gonna run up here oh look there's napopo running about are you an animal crossing villager no Oh, take, take. Another thing that I actually saw is that this game boasts 100 quests. I mentioned this in episode one. It boasts 100 quests, but like some places say that it's over 300 quests. So I don't know if it means like 100 like main story quests and then, you know, like side quests. Let's make the corn. Nice. Now we need to get the bucket. Make sure they're all nice and watered. So I'm assuming the number above the little food icon is just like how many times they need to be watered or even how many days they need to be watered. I don't know what this is here. Is this meant to be like a little sugar plot? I don't know. I need to go to sleep in real life and in game. Oh, okay, so now let's water them again. Okay, so that jumped down to two with that. So I'm guessing then tomorrow in game we'll be good to go. Grab these berries because we seem to need a lot of those. Look at Napopo down there living their best life. And then my other quests are, uh, okay, so I still need to do, oh, I, so I technically still need to do this quest. That's fine. I kind of assumed that this would be 
part of that main quest, but it's obviously not. It's obviously just like a little side quest, but that's fine. I don't mind. Uh, I'm going to see what food I can make as well. Blackberry juice. We'll make some orange juice. The thing I really love about games like this is that you can go on like resource runs and then like make a bunch of stuff in bulk. Like on Breath of the Wild, that's what I tend to do. Just make a bunch of stuff in one go. Like spend like a couple of hours just like foraging and then you're good to go. Right, now I'm going to sleep. I'm going to eat and then I'm going to sleep. Unless... Cool, that'll do. Oh, wait, that restored my energy as well. Okay. I still think I'm going to sleep again, though, because I need to get this corn done. Okay. I think we'll probably be ready now. Oh, we need rainwater. Oh, no, that's so annoying. I get it, but also that's, that's really irritating, so... Okay, that's fine. We'll just have to wait a little while then. But I've just skipped forwards like two days for no reason. I'll grab all of these so I can make lots of juice. I think I'm going to fish as well. But I have to say the fishing in this game, like I actually really, really struggle when it's a more advanced type of fish. It's really, really hard to keep up with the tracker. What this? Oh, it's a shell. I knew what that was. Right. So you have to like keep up with it. But it goes really, really quickly and it's just like, you only get X amount of, see look, you only get X amount of thread. I don't get it. <laughs> oh God, that's so annoying. I need more thread. I, I honestly don't understand how to do it effectively. Right, I'm getting back in the boat. Is that a treasure chest? Not sure. I feel like I've barely explored the actual like home island. I've like run up and down and everything, but that's about it. I feel like I probably could have done more. So I need to talk to more people, but I just don't know. There are like so many random NPCs that you can't really talk to. And the guy in the shop is a little bit rude. So I feel like I've already spoken to him enough. Oh, it's so cool. This is actually like one of my favorite things. If I could just do this the whole game, I'd be happy. Ah, uh, let me, let me, let me in. Wait, no, I've gone round the wrong way. Wait, I can just park up here, can't I? Surely? No. Do I have to actually go to the dock? Ooh! Look at this area. Can I park here? Oh, I just had to leave the boat. Okay. <laughs> Wait, what is this then? What is this boat here for? No, let me know. Okay, it won't actually let me on, which is no problem. There's a fish there. That is a cute little archway. Very, very cute. Uh, okay, I'm going to, I guess, wander around a bit more then. This is an ATM machine. Oh, oh, hello, hello, hello. Little girl, didn't anyone teach you not to bother the adults? Ugh. Edigan. <laughs> nice to meet you, but don't bother me. <laughs> like, literally. Oh, okay, this might... Okay, this might actually be the next bit then. Wow, this person is very, very... rude, straight off the bat. 
You are a savage. Wow. Oh, that's awkward. What? This dude is like really rude. Okay. Could you tell me how to be polite? Don't you have parents? What? She's just said. Oh my gosh, she didn't do a great job. That's so unfair. But I don't deal with people who are not customers of this bank. You'll have to open a bank account. The minimum deposit is 50 coins. And where do I get 50 coins? Don't use please like that. You can get them by selling stuff to other merchants. The old Quido's... Okay, in the harbour. What? Is this, is this a joke? Is this actually a joke? Oh, wait, hold on. I've got 127 coins, I think. Nice. <laughs> a debit or credit account. Oh, okay. There's a little, like, savings thing. Using a navy salute. May the winds of Mara be kind to you. That's what my grandma used to say. Wow, okay. Right, so they've taken my money. I didn't think I had enough money to be able to do that, though. Okay, so that still wasn't enough. But at least there are little, like, arrows kind of where you have to, to do things. So that's not too bad. I guess I'll just keep running around and see who else wants to talk, I guess. I thought maybe some people in here would want to, but they're not very chatty. 96 coins for five sardines. A mollusk shell. I need, I need one of those, don't I? I need two of those. Buy something or go away. Okay. Uh, oh, a battery. What on earth would you need that for? Can I sell some stuff? Okay, I'm just going to, like, sell everything I have. Did that work? Yeah, that worked. Metal. Oh, wait, no, hold on. <laughs> Wrong one. <laughs> okay. What else do I have a lot of? Oh, a silkworm. I had no idea I had a silkworm. No, stone doesn't go for very much. Okay. Uh, what do you sell over here? Vegetables? Oh, I see. Like seeds and stuff like that. Lettuce seeds. Ooh. I'm not going to buy any of that stuff for now because I feel like I might get given that kind of stuff. I'm actually going to run up here as well just to see. What's going on up here? There are these weird like chicken gachapon things. They're not as fun as I thought they would be. Oh, okay. Hold on. I can get a gift of candy. There we go. I didn't need that at all. Will it work if I go back up to the lighthouse? What is that? Oh. Wow. Okay. That was a lot easier than I thought it would be. I thought I was walking into my death there. <laughs> right. Oh, very, 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 very steep hill. That's fine. Jump, jump, jump. It is a lighthouse, isn't it? Or is it a windmill? Unsure. Enter. Yeah, that's fine. Afternoon tea, orange jam and pancakes. Oh, okay. Fine. Fine, fine, fine. Oh, look at me. Look at me. Wait, oh, oh, that actually made me stuck then. Wait, but what is this over here? I need to see what this is. It's a big robot hand. 
What? Why is there a big robot hand there? And why can I not go next to it? Oh, okay. <laughs> we don't want that full damage. Oh, and there's a nice big house here. Okay, okay, okay. Can you let me in though? No, there's some funky statues in here. Can I get in this way? <gasps> I must be able to. Wait, it says I can get in though. Is there a way that I can get in? As in there's a little arrow on the door, so I feel like I might need to get in there. I don't mind breaking in. I've got this hammer, like I can definitely do that. It should let me do that. I don't know. Anyway, guys, I think I am going to end this episode of Summer in Mara. Oh, there's a bunny, there's a bunny, there's a bunny, there's a bunny. Hello? Okay, 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 okay. Why are you just running from me? So uh, that is going to conclude the episode of Summer in Mara, episode three. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you think. And I will see you, obviously, throughout the week with various Animal Crossing videos. And also next Sunday for another Mara episode. So thanks for watching. Bye!